Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. I review stuff. Today, I'm reviewing the song High and Dry by Radiohead. Um, as always, this song comes to you as a request from one of my viewers. So just, you know, be sure to leave your requests in the comments, and they'll get added to the list, and then maybe they'll be reviewed, you know. Uh, so... Uh, you know, at this point, I've heard a little bit of music from uh, from Radiohead. I think on the channel, I've done uh, I've done a few. I, I think I did a song, a live song recently that was that was okay. I also remember doing uh, "There There" a couple years ago, maybe last year, uh, and I love that song. That one, that one was fantastic. I've also heard a little bit from In Rainbows and um, OK Computer. Um, but I, it looks like this one comes off the bends, and I'm not too sure if I've ever heard anything from that album. Um, not from the bends, but I've also heard Creep uh, from Radiohead. I, I had to throw that one out there. Because, uh, I mean, who hasn't heard Creep? I mean, it's a great song. But yeah, looking at this track list, and I don't think I've ever heard anything from the bends. So this is my, my first time. Again, I'm somewhat familiar with you know a little bit of Radiohead here and there, but uh interested to see how this this sounds it's like it looks like this was their second album so all right i say we jump right in this is again high and dry radiohead let's do it
Yeah, that was nice. That was not what I was expecting from Radiohead at all. Uh, but I liked it. <laughs> I liked it a lot, actually. Um, but again, not what I was expecting from them at all. You know, I think uh, just as far as I know, like Radiohead has sort of garnered this um, reputation as being very like experimental, you know, kind of ahead of their time, that kind of thing. And so to hear them do kind of more of a almost a straight pop song is uh, definitely, again, not what I was expecting. So let's take a look at the song. Let's break it down piece by piece, of course starting with the lyrics. And it does say here this is the first single from Radiohead's second album, The Benz. High and Dry was released on a double A-side with the album's opening track, Planet Telex. Uh, so looking at the lyrics, it says, Two thumbs in a week. I bet you think that's pretty clever. Oh, sorry. Did I say thumbs? What the hell's wrong with me? Two jumps in a week. I, ho- I bet you think that's pretty clever, don't you, don't you, boy? Flying on your motorcycle, watching all the ground beneath you drop. You'd kill yourself for recognition. Kill yourself to never, ever stop. You broke another mirror. You're turning into something you are not. It's about evil Knievel, perhaps? I don't know. And then don't leave me high, don't leave me dry, don't leave me high, don't leave me dry. Drying up in conversation, you will be the one who cannot talk. All your insights fall to pieces. You just sit there wishing you could still make love. They're the ones who'll hate you when you think you've got the world all sussed out. They're the ones who'll spit at you. You will be the ones screaming out. Okay. Uh, That's kind of interesting. So maybe like a a daredevil, an adrenaline junkie. Maybe they get into an accident and they're sort of left relying on others, if you will. Um, Don't leave me high. Don't leave me dry. Oh, it's the best thing that you've ever had. The best thing that you've ever, ever had. It's the best thing that you've ever had. The best thing you've had has gone away. So don't leave me high. Don't leave me dry. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm really not too sure. Um, let's see, what have the artists said about the song? In a 2007 interview with Pitchfork Media, York stated that he did not like the song, saying, it's not bad, it's very bad. <laughs> he also stated that he had been pressured into including the song on the bins. Okay, well, that's good to know. Again, it, it does seem like uh, not a Radiohead song, just as far as like I know Radiohead. So yeah, I'm wondering if maybe the studio was like, yeah, you need a more, uh, you know, radio friendly track on the album or something. So not too sure what this one's about. I'm going to click here, uh, and just read what people on genius are saying. Uh, this person says many possible interpretation, uh, interpretations jump as a slang for a shag in some parts of the UK. It could mean that the interlocutor, that's a great word, did two jumps in a week as in slept with two different girls in the space of seven days or maybe he shoplifted or stole something twice in a week or he did two motorcycle stunt jumps. That's actually what I, how I read it in a single week. Other allegories could also apply. In any case, the boy demeaned by the narrator is trying to boast himself in an unconvincing way. Interesting. Okay. I don't know, again, this is just, like, people commenting on it. I mentioned Evil Knievel, that's funny. Uh, I guess he's just, even when you say motorcycle stunt, that's who you think of, right? But, yeah, I just, you know, those, those are commenters. I'm not sure, you know, how much weight th- their interpretation really has. But that's kind of how I see it, honestly, was, you know, someone who was uh, taking a lot of risks. And maybe those risks did not pay off. And now, again, he's sort of stuck uh, relying on others. He He sort of has to rely on others not to leave him high and dry, which is, I think, the connection there in the lyrics. So, you know, lyrically it was interesting. I, I think it's definitely wide open to interpretation. But, um, you know, it was at least, I think, well written. So for that, I'm going to give it a thumb up for lyrics. As far as the instrumentation and the vocals go, I'll start with vocals. I actually really like the vocal style here. Um, again, very clean, very almost pop-like. I'm thinking, I'm guessing it was Tom York here on vocals. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I, I thought he sounded really great. You know, again, I, I can see why he wouldn't like this song. Again, just knowing the sort of reputation that uh, Radiohead has. Uh, again, for being sort of ahead of the curve and... Um, for for being just very like innovative and stuff like that but uh you know i think he sounds great here you know sometimes pop music is is it's good (laughs) sometimes you just want to listen to music because it sounds good Uh, and i think his vocals sounded really good here um as well as the guitar work i think the uh overall you know again just a very uh again simple like pop like chord progression if you will but you know it's it's it was fine. It was all fine. All the instrumentation here was fine. Nothing was like, oh man, that blew me away. I can't wait to listen to this instrumental or this vocal performance again. But it was more so of just like, hey, this is like a nice song to just kind of put on and chill to. So I dig it. I give it a thumb up, uh, both instrumentally and vocally. 
And as far as replay value goes, this is a, this is an easy listen if I've ever if I've ever heard one, right? It's just like you can again, you can put it on, you can kind of chill to it. Uh, it. There's not much that I think is going to turn people away. It is sort of generic. I don't want to really use that word generic, especially with a band like Radiohead, but you know, it it, it kind of was, and so it's just it's an easy listen, which which means that it's perfect for for sitting on a playlist and getting some some listens. So you know, for for replay value, I give it a thumb up. Why not? Overall. A very good song, and I want to thank whoever requested this one for the excellent suggestion. Uh, as always, if you'd like to request something, just leave it in the comments. I'll be sure to add it to my list. Uh, if you enjoyed the music as much as I did, go support the artists. Go listen to their music wherever you can. Of course, if you uh, want to support me by any chance, you could al- always follow me on uh, on on YouTube and you know like in the video and comment and all that stuff. You can also check the description if you'd like to follow me on Twitch, Twitter, or TikTok. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye for now.